like to hear about Rainbow Bright's latest adventure? It all starts one morning at the San Diego Zoo. Two of Rainbow's friends, Pete and Tracy, are on their way to the zoo's koala club meeting, where they'll learn all about the animals in the zoo. Well, on the way, they always stop to check out a few of their favorite animals, like the pink flamingos. Do you know why flamingos are pink? Because they eat pink shrimp. I guess you could say they are what they eat. Oh, this baby camel is only two hours old, and already he's walking, or at least trying to. Dad doesn't look like he's going to be much help, though. Look, here's the jaguar. We learned about the jaguar in our class here at the zoo. He's one of those cats that can swim. Where's he from? Well, the sign says, the jaguar is the largest cat found in America. His coat is golden color with black spots. Let's go see him. So far, it had been Pete and Tracy's usual perfect day at the zoo, but not for long. I thought you said he was gold with black spots. I did. Well, where is all the color? You're right, the color is missing. Someone must have stolen it. That sounds serious. It is. I wonder who can help us. Rainbow Bright! Right, let's see if we can find her. Great, come on. Tracy's right. It's serious when animals lose their color. They need their colors to hide from their enemies. And when they're hidden, it's safe for them to hunt for their food. When an animal's color helps them blend into where they live, it's called camouflage. Birds would be in a lot of trouble without their colors. They use their color to attract a mate. And it's the male birds that are usually the most colorful, like the snappy dresser. <laughs> Pete and Tracy really have a problem. They have to find their friend Rainbow Bright, the little girl who keeps the world in color. But Rainbow Bright lives with the color kids on the other side of the rainbow. Where do you begin to look? How do you signal her? Pete and Tracy tried everything they could think of. <laughs> from the Jaguar, and Pete and Tracy are desperately seeking Rainbow Bright. Not your usual day at the zoo. And I bet you're not surprised to hear that the old arch enemy of fun and color and self, the despicable desperado from the depths of gloomland, Murky Dismal, and his sidekick Lurky are approaching right now in the grunge buggy to check on their trickery. You, uh, you, uh, you bumbling buggy buster! The grunge buggy is totaled! Why didn't you have your hands on the wheel before? Because I was waving back at the friendly policeman, Murky. He wasn't waving, you bucket brain. He was telling you to stop. What idiot taught you to drive? Uh, you did, Murky. Now that I fooled those two nosy kids, I can take my sign back. Fool them, Murky? Yeah, sure. Now they'll try to bring Rainbow Bright here. Rainbow Bright? Here? 
Yes. <laughs> this time, Rainbow Bright and that color belt of hers will not spoil my plans. When I get her here, we'll put her where she'll never stand in the way of my gray again. <laughs> Uh, what's it gonna turn gray, Murky? Just look around, you bloated dust mob. I'm going to turn all the animals gray. Then I'm going to put them all in my own unamusement park. <laughs> Murky, dismal, gloom world. <laughs> People who want to see all these wonderful animals will only be able to see them in my favorite color, Dismal Gray. <laughs> How are you going to take all the colors away from the animals? Yeah, I'll explain it later. Right now, we have to catch a bus, thanks to your dim-witted driving. Oh, you don't have to thank me, Murky. <laughs> So the colorful jaguar Pete and Tracy were expecting to see earlier was really a rare black jaguar. The black jaguar is a relative of the colorful jaguar. The reason he's all black is that his spots grew to cover his whole body. I guess you could say he's like a kid with one big freckle. The jaguar is known as a big cat, and so is the lion. The lion is the largest of the big cats and certainly the laziest. He sleeps most of the time and even sends his wife out to do all the hunting. While the lion hunts in groups, the tiger hunts alone. But one thing all the big cats can do is roar. And our kids still have a big problem. They've done everything they could think of to signal Rainbow Bright, but without success. And they still don't know that they're playing right into Murky Dismal's evil plan to capture Rainbow Bright and take all the color from the animals. Gee, Tracy, I hope Rainbow Bright gets the message. Me too, Pete. I wonder where she could be. magical rainbow appeared in the sky over the zoo. It came all the way from Rainbow Land, and it's bringing the little girl who's responsible for putting all the color in the world. To everyone's delight, Rainbow Bright and her faithful sidekick, Twink, arrive at the zoo to see how they can help their friends, Pete and Tracy. I sure did, Tracy. Hello, Pete. Your message sounded serious. What's going on? We were down at the jaguar cage and the jaguar lost all its color. That's right, he was all black. That's right. Well, it sounds like Murky Dismal is up to his old tricks again. It sure does. Murky Dismal. Yeah, he's always trying to take the color away. What are we going to do? Don't worry, kids. We can handle him. Can't we, Twink? We sure can. Let's split up and see if we can find him. That's just what I was going to say. All right. Pete and Tracy, you two search over by the aviary where they keep the birds. Twink, you check out the bear compound, and I'll look over by the African animals. Yeah, let's get going! Yeah, 